Hello people, welcome back. This is another video from Wavy Dynamics. Today, I just wanna take some time to talk about a new course that I've launched. So earlier this week in February, 2022, I launched a new course on the fundamentals of vehicle dynamics. And it kind of came about as I was reflecting on the journey I've had uh, with motorsport engineering, the kind of things I've learned and the feedback that I've received from some of you guys about the kind of content I've been putting out. The things I learned now would have been so valuable to me while I was at university. You know, I've said before, there are certain universities that do the motorsport engineering thing very well. There are some that do it not so well. So I've developed this course, which is, um, as I mentioned, the fundamentals of vehicle dynamics. So it's a real broad course focusing on all the important subsystems within vehicle dynamics. So the objective of the course really are to give students a real solid foundation of knowledge within motorsport and performance vehicle dynamics. Vehicle dynamics can be a bit intimidating sometimes. There's so much to learn. Every time you think you learn something, you uncover something new that you realize you had no idea about. So it's really just aimed to get people started in the journey, whether it's for a university project, whether it's for a career. So the course is mainly for the following kind of groups. Your university students who are in a bachelor's or master's degree, perhaps doing formula student, perhaps doing some other project, or would just like to fill in the blanks that their university hasn't quite covered in enough detail as they might like. So in that sense, it's also going to be relevant to racing teams. Not everyone can be an expert in vehicle dynamics. Maybe a team has a couple of members who are really quite skilled in that, but the wider team, such as the powertrain, the aerodynamics, even the controls, mechatronics guys, they might not have such a fundamental base of understanding in the subject. So it'll also be useful to them. For people who are in the engineering industry, perhaps working in a different discipline of automotive or motorsport engineering, so maybe a powertrain background, and wanting to make a career switch into something vehicle dynamics related, having access to a real concise resource, having uh, being able to speak to someone, you know, in a one-to-one -one or a group setting, talk about ideas and concepts, that would have been really useful to me when I started this journey. And lastly, just people who want to learn. Some people have their own personal cars and are developing, you know, like they have a, a track project that they're working on just to get a bit of further knowledge and understanding about what they're dealing with. And I really picture the course being delivered one-to-one, -one, personally or via video call, or in a more traditional um, seminar kind of setting. So whether that's at a university, in a lecture hall, or some kind of space um, where I can you know, work with a group of students. So what's the course gonna cover? In a sense, it's a bit of an A to Z of vehicle dynamics. So we're looking at tires, weight transfer and wheel loading, cornering, suspension kinematics, vertical dynamics, aerodynamics, and modeling and simulation techniques. So for example, tires, the singularly most important component on any performance car, whether that's on the road or track. What makes the tyre grip? Under what conditions does the tyre perform at its best? What kind of physics are happening around the vehicle to allow it to hold a constant velocity, constant radius path around the corner? Furthermore, what happens when the driver turns the wheel? How do the forces build up um, around the car? How does slip angles start to build up? What's the transient phase of the corner characterised by? Kinematics is another interesting one. So how do you design the suspension geometry to give you the best characteristics you like? There's been a lot of talk around the 2022 Red Bull Formula One car. It's got some quite interesting suspension geometry. What are the designers trying to do there? What kind of characteristics have they designed into the suspension? And what is it useful for? All that stuff is covered in the kinematics section. Vertical dynamics is looking at the car's reaction to weight transfer and external inputs from the road profile the influence of springs and dampers into what's happening at the contact patch and the aerodynamic performance of the car. So if these are the kind of questions that you're asking yourself or you'd like to know, the course is for you. So anyway, I won't go on too long. I think I've covered the course, what I want to accomplish with it, what it's useful for, and you know some of the material that's in there. I've included a link to the course in the description of this video, so that has a bit more information as well as a course preview, a few slides that I've picked from the course to, to give an idea of um, the format and the structure of it. So yeah, if you're looking to further yourself in vehicle dynamics, start working towards a career as a professional vehicle dynamicist, then reach out and let's see how it can help you. As usual, more videos as often as I can and when there's exciting things happening. Until then, be inspired.